Yeah, one of the things that be become a little more common in recent years is using Group A's as, as a strategy in summer, either on their own as, or as in a double knock. Now the Group A's are typically grass selective herbicides, things like Verdict or Select belong in that group, your FOPs and DIMS. And generally these products are required to be mixed with oil based wetters. And so you have an oil based formulation typically or an oil dispersible granule EC, something like that that gets mixed with an oil which improves the uptake. But the addition of oil based adjuvants and products to air induction nozzles can have uh, different effects through the nozzle. And typically if someone's running say an 025 or a purple orifice or larger and running at the lower pressure range, your oil tends to collapse the air in the droplet and generate quite large ones. Now these products don't translocate very much, so we need to be careful again, they're coverage sensitive, almost treat them a bit like uh, a paraquat in some regards or a contact type product. So operating these nozzles at low pressure can be a bit of an issue, particularly when you've got an oil based wetter there. Um, you'll get bigger droplets, poorer coverage. So if you're operating these, I'd say keep the pressure up towards a medium spectrum or consider changing to something like a low drift nozzle because when you let the pressure run down with this style of nozzle, your coverage will be greatly reduced and being almost like a contact type product because of its limited translocation, you'll get a poorer result. And that can often be evident at the ends of runs where guys are slowing down, the machine decreases the pressure to nozzle and you can end up with poorer control at the ends of the paddocks. So quite often if it's possible I'd suggest putting in a couple of headland sprays so that you can actually come in at speed and maintain the pressure at the nozzle. Or ideally maybe look at a different type of non-air induction for some of those in-prop grass sprays. Um, but also if you're doing that sort of thing in fallow you need that balance. So keep the pressure up to these if you're going to use them.